Welcome back to Thomas Schmidt IT. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to hook up a computer to a TV monitor. Stay tuned. With so many people working from home these days, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to hook up your PC to a TV monitor. Maybe you're working from home and you just want a larger screen, or maybe you just want to sit on your couch while you're doing your work so you're comfortable. Whatever the reason is, I'm going to show you the easiest way to hook up your computer to your TV monitor, and let's check it out. All right, so you may be on a simple setup just like this. You're at your desk, so you want to switch over to a TV monitor to do your work, or maybe you're gaming or something like that. I've gone ahead and moved the TV here onto a desk so we can get a good look at exactly what it looks like. I've got my laptop here, and then we have the monitor. I've got this one already hooked up. Let's go ahead and unplug it and see what it looks like. All right, so step one, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is determine how your computer can hook up to your TV. There's three main connections that a computer can use to hook up to a TV. VGA, DVI, or HDMI. Now, depending on what kind of a setup you have or whether you're in a professional environment, you may be provided or be able to purchase an adapter such as this. This is actually a HDMI to VGA converter. HDMI is really the modern standard right now. It carries both audio and high definition video. Most modern computers and smart TVs have this type of connection. Now DVI is a type of cable that carries video only. It has three rows of eight pins. You may not see this one as often. Now the VGA is the old standard. This is what you maybe used to see with computer monitors more typically than the HDMI that we see now. The connector is typically blue. It has three rows of five pins for 15 total. Again, this is the older uh, standard that you may see on older computer screens, and it does not have the capability of transmitting HD signal. Now that you've determined how your computer can connect to your TV, you're gonna to wanna to determine how the TV can connect to the computer. And this is where the adapters come in. If your TV doesn't have the variety of connectors, like let's say it only has HDMI, but for whatever reason, your computer only has a VGA, you will need an adapter converter to be able to convert the signal from one type of connector to the other. This older TV model even has the VGA built in, but you would need to connect sound adapters to be able to get the sound if you wanted to hear. So you'll just have to take a look at your specific situation between the TV and the computer itself to see how you're going to connect it. If you're looking to purchase an adapter, you can easily find them on Google through marketplaces such as Amazon. Your next step is going to be to plug the cable into your computer. Make sure the computer's on. After that, go ahead and plug in the cable to your TV. The TV should show the display, but it may not. I'll show you in the next step how to make sure that it's displaying correctly on the TV. You want to make sure that it's set to HDMI 3, which is the connector that I'm using in the back of the TV. And once I select it, it shows the actual projection of the computer monitor. Now, as you can see here, the computer is projecting onto the TV and I've got my YouTube channel showing. All right guys, so hopefully that video is really helpful, kind of basic, being able to connect your computer to a television. But again, it's a good skill that everyone should really have if you wanna work from home. Maybe you can get into that more comfortable position uh, on the couch or something like that to make your life more productive. And uh, hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. Remember to like and subscribe, go ahead and make comments, ask me questions, uh, and I'll be sure to respond. Let me know if there's any other types of videos you want to see, any other content, and I'll be sure to look into it. And remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.